Hey Eric, this is Holden Dress. We spoke on the phone earlier and you said I could shoot you over this quick video. Uh, I'm not going to take too long with this. I'm just going to go over a few things that I think that you could implement yourself and would really start seeing some more traffic to your website, getting found easier in the search results online. I'm also going to take a look at you know how much traffic you are actually getting to your website versus that of your competitors. And like I said, a few ways to beat them out. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I got your website pulled up right here. I do like how it is laid out and how you have places for people to reach out to you very quickly. This is important. Um, and your services listed here as well as your certifications. When it comes to Google optimization, the first thing Google looks at is content, especially on your homepage. They want to make sure you at least have 1500 words of content. Uh, and I would say you're probably that you're probably at 1500. I actually have this tool that will take a look and see you have about 1800 words of content on your homepage. So you're doing well in that aspect. Um, in addition to, to content, you know, you, you want to make sure that you have more than your top competitors. So depending on how much your competition has, um, you want to make sure that you're just above them or not exceeding them significantly. And then you also want to include what we call keywords. Keywords are basically anything that someone searches for up in the search bar to find you. Um, there are specific keywords you want to target more than others based on, you know, your city and the search volume. But really we want to include buyer intent keywords. These are keywords that you know people are searching for because they're ready to reach out for a contractor right now. Uh, for example, a buyer intent keyword would be emergency tree removal Roswell, right? You know these people are having an emergency. They're ready for a contractor. So they're going to probably be clicking on your website and calling and reaching out to you right away. Uh, a non-buyer intent keyword would be tree removal cost. You know these people are just kind of still doing their research and they're not necessarily going to reach out to purchase that service uh, today so it's important to make sure that you're including those specific keywords over here this is called the google map pack there's only three spots but this collects about 70 percent of the traffic of people that search anything up in the search bar um, and there's only three spots like i said so you really want to make sure you're up in this and you're actually down here on the last one for specifically true removal in roswell but if you want to make sure that you stay up here and maybe even get to the top spot what you need to do is basically get your name address and phone number into as many directories as possible these are things like facebook yellow pages yelp anywhere you can get your name address and phone number listed online is considered a directory um, the key is consistency across all of them if on your facebook it shows different business hours or you know different information than your google my business you'll be deducted points for that because it's considered confusing to the customer um, and also you can see down here, you have 157 and a 4.8 rating versus this one has a 4.5 and 41 reviews and 4.7 and 36 reviews. So although your reviews, your years in business and your rating are way higher uh, because of your lack of directories, that's probably why they're outranking you specifically for this. So you know that that's important uh, in that aspect to make sure you get those directories and make sure they're correct. Uh, down here, this is the organics area. This is where most people will click after you know the, the Google My Business. So this is remaining 30%. Not many people go to the second, third, or fourth page. So you want to make sure that you're on the first page. So you do not actually see you guys up here. Um, to do so, what you need to do is basically go out and get what we call backlinks. Backlinks are links from other websites linking to your website. And the more of these links that you have, the, the, the more authority that you have in the search results. With that being said, not all links are created equal. You need to make sure that you're getting links that are relative to your industry and are you know, high quality sites. Here is a tool called SEMrush. It's one of the more powerful tools that I, that I use in my industry to look at how much traffic is going to someone's website and why. Um, and I'm gonna show you based, basically your website compared to the two top competitors, which is this SES Master tree, MAS Trees and then Caldwell Trees. Um, so Caldwell, gets about 248 people organically to their website a month versus this SES mass gets about 884 people in the last month to their website. And in comparison to your website, you have about 95 people coming to your website. Now let's take a look exactly why. So if you look over here, this is basically how many websites you have linking to your website. Uh, this is the number of backlinks coming to your website from these websites. But it's important to note that power only transfers from a website once. So if you have five backlinks coming from the same site, right, you're only getting the authority from that site once. So this is the important number. So 29 of yours versus 
292 of theirs versus Caldwell has 72 websites linking to their website. So you can see exactly in that aspect why you're not on the first page of Google for, for your website versus, versus them. Um, in addition, you can see how many keywords that you guys are actually ranking for. So you only rank for 59 keywords versus these guys rank for 1700 and then Caldwell ranks for 322. Um, so for all these reasons, you can see why the traffic is significantly different. And if you were able to just, you know, capture at least a fraction of the traffic away from these guys, this would probably result in a significant amount of new customers to your business. Um, so I hope this was helpful. And like I said, if you want to chat some more, please reach out. I'd love to hear what you thought about the video, you know, whether you're interested or not. Um, if you're not opposed to shooting me an email back or giving me a call with some feedback. Uh, but I appreciate you taking the time to check it out. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day.